All right, welcome back. So, um, I just wanted to do a quick video. I had a few people ask me in the comments um, about how I got this magnet here mounted to the back of my redfish meter. Um, I don't know if you noticed on a few videos I'm using it just um, magnetically and definitely doesn't come factory um, with a magnetic uh, hanger here. So, just going to quickly show you how I did it. Um, it's not the most highly engineered solution, but it's pretty. It works, you know. So essentially, I put a slit in this back part here. This little rubber piece right between these two lead holders, and you're gonna want to. You're gonna have to use a some sort of uh, drill or something as well because there's plastic. There's hard plastic in between there as well. That's going to have to be um, basically cut out of there. So. Once you get that all out, cut your hole big enough. I used a little small bit in my drill and I just kind of drilled down in there, cleared all the pl black plastic out. Once you get that out, I got this here magnet off of my um, field piece hot wire because I don't really use that as often as the meter, not to mention when I do use it, I'm really not hanging it like that anyway. So, Or you can just buy one of these off of Amazon or something for like $10. So I just tucked it. See if I can get a decent angle. You just take this um and it's tight, but this rubber is really strong, so you really don't have to be too concerned about tearing it. And that's why this is really the best place to um, push it through because like I said the rubber being as strong as it is um, it's not gonna just rip on you and cause it to fall on you in the middle of you working so push it through like such hands are all in the way but Pretty sure you're getting the idea. It just pushes through. And then you just um, connect your Velcro together. And that just sits like that. Pretty decent against the magnet. You can also fit your, lead, your meters in there as well. So it works pretty well. And that's the way I. And these, these leads don't seem to be too uh, affected by um, the uh, magnetic field. I'm at the uh, amp probe, so it seems to be pretty accurate still, even if I have it hanging um, with some wires going through the amp probe. So uh, it's a pretty good solution for me. So yeah, that's just a quick video on how I magnetize my Subco Redfish meter. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Also, if you've got any cool modifications that you've done with your tools, uh, feel free to share in the comments below. Because, like I said, I'm always trying to, um, you know, make the tool a little bit more usable.